Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we have a rather odd item that has been changed by 2.4 um, in a rather unexpected way, and uh, in multiple unexpected ways, which kind of has some interesting things to go over, and uh, as we talk about it, I think you'll understand why. Uh, so the Impaler War Spear is a 27 to 99 damage two-handed spear. Uh, it has 25 dex requirement, 25 strength requirement, and level 31. So this post postures it, like basically the end of normal difficulty, the beginning of Nightmare. Um, it is a very fast to class attack speed on this particular character, also due to the part that it has the 20% increased on it, which is definitely helpful. And uh, it also has 170% enhanced damage, uh, which does vary from 140 to 170%. Um, we also have a Ignores Target's Defense modifier on here, uh, which Ignores Target's Defense works by removing attack rating from the calculation formula of the two hit. It does not guarantee a hit, it just simply removes attack rating from the formula. There are other considerations for whether or not you will hit a target, like for instance, um, whether or not the target is higher level than you or lower level than you, um, how big that gap is, and uh, there are other things as well. So it's, it's important to note that it ignores target defense while it will, of course, make sure that you hit a target that is like a trash mob or something like that around your level. Um, Elite monsters it does not work on, like bosses and things like that. It also does not really work um, on monsters that are much higher level than you either. So ITD is very nice, but it's not going to be the end-all, be-all solution. Uh, we also have 150 attack rating on here, which is certainly a very nice bonus. So not only do we have a ITD, but we also have a really nice bonus to attack rating, which will ensure that our hits are actually going to land. Then we have 40% chance of open wounds, which is pretty massive. And uh, we'll provide an 8-second bleed on the target that will make sure that they do not regenerate. And they're also taking damage based on your character's level. So the higher your character is, the more damage you will do. Then we have plus 5 Impale. So this spear seems to be specifically targeted at a Amazon who would use the Impale skill. Now the funny thing about Impale is that they recently changed it. So Impale got some updates. Uh, one of the updates that it got was that it always hits its target. And another update that it got was that it's uninterruptible. So we have here a plus 5 Impale spear which has ITD on it and attack rating. And you don't need either of those for Impale anymore. So the ITD and the attack rating are kind of just extra. I mean, granted, if you are using other abilities like Fend or Jab, or maybe you're using one of the elemental strikes that also happens to hit targets with physical damage, then yeah. I mean, technically, um, those ITD and attack rating numbers will still come in handy, but for Impale specifically, the ITD and attack rating are now redundant. Um, we also have plus three to Power Strike, which is the lesser skill that a lot of people don't tend to use on the Lightning Tree. Basically, there's three skills in the Lightning Tree. Um, one is a skill that nobody really tends to use very much because Power Strike doesn't really do that much damage um, comparatively to the other skills. Um, we also have Charge Strike, which does a massive amount of damage and can annihilate most targets with relative ease uh, due to the fact that it releases 10 charged bolts that do 7,000 damage a pop. So you're talking about like 70k or 71,000 damage uh, versus uh, Power Strike's potential 18k, which isn't even anywhere near close to the 71k that Charge Strike can do. And then Lightning Strike is very effective as a multi-hit target ability, doing about 5.7k per hit and hitting for about 38 hits. Um, it can literally almost hit every single monster on a battlefield. So Power Strike is not really the best ability, and having plus 3 to Power Strike might come in handy early on before you start building your other two abilities, but for the most part, later on in the game, Power Strike is just kind of useless. Uh, we also have Prevent Monster Heal, which is kind of really nice, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, having open wounds, prevent monster heal, ITD, and a massive amount of attack rating on this weapon all at once kind of makes this a very interesting choice for any character, not just an Amazon. Um, if you were a barbarian, if you were a druid, uh, two-handed weapons tend to do very well on both of those. Um, honestly, just a, if you found this... And you got that ITD, you got that open wound, you got that prevent monster heal, the the extra attack rating, the increased attack speed. 
all of which are going to add up to a fairly effective weapon around level 31 for most monsters. Now, the biggest downside of this weapon, it doesn't really have a lot of damage, and that can be um, a pretty big negative. Uh, 27 to 99 is not really too great for a two-handed weapon, so I would suggest that you would use this with elemental damage builds more so than physical damage builds, which means this might be a really good choice for, I don't know, like a, a fire claw druid uh, early on, just so that he can have the ITD and the attack rating to make sure that his hits are landing and applying that massive amount of fire damage. Um, it also might not be a horrible choice for a low-level Holy Fire, Holy Shock, or Holy Freeze Paladin for the same reasons, um, because you can just zeal with it, hit all your targets with the massive attack rating bonuses and the ITD, as well as the Prevent Monster Heal and Open Wounds, which will apply that elemental damage very effectively. And in fact, it seems like it was kind of designed for an elemental damage character more so than a physical damage character, despite the fact that its name seems to be the Impaler. Um, and when you put it on with the Impale ability, I mean, you will see that it does, I mean, some halfway decent damage, um, individually hits. Um, and that's, of course, with all my overpowered equipment on. I can. Let me see if I can take some of this overpowered equipment off. And uh, even then, we're still looking at like 3,900, 392 to 1,440. But of course, the thing about Impale is it is a um, skill that you're going to have to dump points into to get that massive bonus. So you got to keep that in mind. The other problem with Impale is that Impale burns durability like crazy. So what ends up happening is you'll use this with Impale, and it will be broken relatively quickly. Um, 30 durability on these spears, or rather just all spears in general, tend to have the worst durability. Um, the Ethereal version can also exist with 40 to 148 damage, which is pretty good. 15 dex, 15 strength, so basically anybody can use it at level 31. And uh, it would make a very good choice for an early uh, mercenary because the ITD combined with the attack rating and the open wounds would make a very, very effective mercenary early on. Uh, probably socket it with an Amrune for a little bit of extra lifesteal. Now do keep in mind, however, that the Prevent Monster Heal does not work on the Mercenary, but the Open Wounds will effectively work as, open, as Prevent Monster Heal, just with a much shorter duration. Um, we can, of course, upgrade this to its Elite form, and I don't really know if that's going to be a good idea, but let's do it anyway. Uh, so to do that, you're going to need a Lum, a Pull, and a Perfect Emerald. And that's going to take us from the Impaler War Spear, 27 to 99, 25 Dex, 25 Strength, level 31, to the Impaler Hyperion Spear, 94 to 321, 120 Dex, 155 Strength, level 50. Um, as you can see, it didn't really upgrade too well to the third tier, but it's decent. Um, and with those ridiculous modifiers on it, you could actually utilize this at level 50. Um, the problem is, is that 155 Strength and 120 Dex is really high, and you might have a little bit of trouble actually building those stats to put it on at level 50. Um, let's try the Ethereal version, which is 40 to 148, 15 Dex, 15 Strength, level 31, to the Imperial Impaler Hyperion Spear, 140 to 480, 110 Strength, 145 110 dex, 445 strength, level 50. Um, you could probably utilize this on a mercenary to pretty good effect, to be honest. 140 to 480 uh, two-handed damage in the ethereal form with that uh, relatively low requirements should be able to put that on just about any merc. And combined with the ITD, the open wounds, the attack rating, the pretty quick speed on this, it would probably work out pretty well. Um, all in all, I do think that this weapon was probably designed to be used, you know, at the level that it is, which is level 31. But uh, at level 50, it doesn't seem too terrible. If you were invested in this particular kind of build, a spear build, you might have the statistics to wear this with 155 strength and 120 uh, dexterity. And at level 50, this could probably smack pretty hard. I could see that. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Silo's pen, and let's see where potentially we could find ourselves our own Impaler and, uh, and get an idea of uh, what we're looking at to, to try and actually, you know, utilize this. So let's do about 100% Magic Find because it's level 31. Yeah, let me bring up the window so you guys can see it. So uh, we're looking at bosses first and um, non-quest flags. So we're looking at Normal Bale is our first non-quest flag at five, 1 in 515, and then we got Nightmare and Dario at 1 in 548. Um, so it does look like you're not going to get this until toward the end of Normal Difficulty. 
Uh, Diablo in normal, 1 in 653. He might be your best bet as far as early farming for that. And as far as uh, super uniques go, we've got Neelithak in normal at 1 in 4,058. Uh, the Countess in Nightmare at 1 in 5,239. Pindleskin in normal at 1 in 6,076. And Thresh Socket at 1 in 6,138. Um, and as you can see, we've got some pretty good choices here for farming. Um, a lot of these guys are pretty easy to get their hands on. And um, quite honestly, even Bone Ash at Nightmare, 1 in 6,552. 6, I mean, as far as this weapon goes, it's definitely an interesting one because of the ITD. At an early level like that, where you where you probably will be having attack rating issues, and with the massive bonus to attack rating on it combined with the other effects, the weapon really could shine very well in the hands of a of a Amazon. The problem with this spear has always been that spear Amazons were terrible, um, but in recent patches they changed a lot of that. So you know the. The Amazon has seen some very nice buffs. Her evades and dodges actually work now, whereas before they didn't. Um, Impale got some very nice buffs to it. Um, the Lightning Tree got some synergy reductions, so you didn't have to spend so many points to beef it up. And uh, even Fend has seen a very nice um, fix in this time frame. So quite honestly, at this point, this particular spear could see a lot more use these days, uh, just simply because it's just a really sexy level 31 spear that uh, a spears on could use now if you weren't a spears on you probably wouldn't use it um, and of course there's always the downside of the fact that you don't have a shield um, and this is one of the big things about the spears ons is that they just don't have anything to make up for the fact that they're losing their shield um, it would be nice if they had something to make up for the fact that they were losing their shield but they uh, they really don't um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching uh, my videos, uh, even when you are impaling yourself upon giant spears. And uh, as always, keep watching.